Hey you guys, this is Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV. And today we're going to be taking a look at Blue Cat Audio's Freak Analyst Pro. Now this is a very powerful and very easy to use analysis plugin for the frequency spectrum, of course. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to play this. And as we see right here, it looks really smooth and really clean. We're having a nice accurate view. But one thing that you really need to see is how powerful this is. We can bring down the position if we have a really bogged down CPU. We can bring it all the way down or we can bring it up by right clicking. You can reset it. But I just brought it back up and you can see a nice accurate view. We also have abilities to change the speed. But I like to use the attack and release envelopes for this. And we can easily have this now turned into a mastering style analyzer. Everything's smooth and clean. We can have the peaks reset a little smoother, release it even slower. Now if we want to zoom in, we easily just click on it and drag. And we can even press freeze real quick. And now what we can see is up here where my mouse is, we have positions of frequency, decibel, note and scent. So if we go right here, I can see that I'm at 47 hertz, but minus 29 decibels. The note is F sharp one and it's 22 cents. Zoom out by right clicking. And you can see that this goes for across the entire spectrum, all the way from 10 hertz to 22 K. This is a very powerful tool, very easy to use and very awesome to have. I'm going to reset my envelopes. We also have an offset of just right here. In case your mix is too loud or too quiet, you have 40 dBs of gain to mess with. You can even slope it down or up. You have the threshold, which is basically just the threshold for the detector circuit of this. This is an absolute one or a relative one. They basically work the same. You have peak resets, you have left right mode and MS. Now, a very powerful thing that you have that makes this different than a lot of other ones is you can easily, this frequency response, we can just go grab it right here and let's make that red and we'll do the peak. Now I have captured a screenshot of that exact frequency response. I can reset my own peaks. And we can actually see if our mixes are matching a similar frequency response that we like. This is very powerful and very cool, but the reason why you'd want to use this is let's say you're mastering something and you want all of your songs to have a relatively similar frequency response, that they sound like they're one cohesive unit. Or if you have reference mixes that you really like, you can easily take screenshots of it and see if maybe there's something that you're either lacking or you have too much of. Now the next section is this really cool spectrogram. We have a nice 3D model and you can easily just go right here. You can kind of stretch it out, all right? This is from, again, 10 Hertz to 22K. But when you stretch it out and zoom, you actually change the frequency response that you're at. All you gotta do is right click, resets everything. This can be wireframed or solid. And this can even be 2D if you need it to be. This is a really great tool. This is a great way of actually visualizing your music in uh, different ways. The spectrum is more like a flat, you know, left to right, up and down. I find this to be a little bit more of an accurate thing of energy. The output section is basically your mid, your side, your combined channels, and this is your transformed output pitch. And this is a great tool to even teach you how to do notes or music by using the note detector section of it and find the predominant frequencies, see the notes, and you can maybe type those in on a keyboard to make a keyboard harmony. But anyway, that's about it for today's video. This has been Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.